Hi, and welcome to Legal Briefs. Today, true to our name, Legal Briefs, we are going to tell you everything you need to know about bankruptcy law and some things you don't need to know in four minutes. So hold on to your hat. The idea of bankruptcy has been around since the days of the Old Testament and the tradition of the Jubilee, in Hebrew pronounced in which slaves were freed and debts forgiven every seven years. This is an ancient counterpart to the modern tradition of the purge, in which all crimes are legal for 12 hours. Announcing the commencement of the first purge, and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. Oh, that's just the movie? Darn it, I was making plans. Anyways, going back to the founding of our country, the U.S. Constitution says that Congress has power to pass laws regarding bankruptcy, but the truth is that Congress didn't really get around to it until 1898 when modern bankruptcy laws were passed. It only took them 120 some years. It's not too bad. In fact, up until the Civil War, not only did we not have modern bankruptcy laws, but we still had debtor prisons where you were jailed if you went behind on a loan. If that sounds like a crazy idea, remember, we still jail people for monetary obligations like court costs and non-payment of child support. So don't judge your ancestors too harshly. There are essentially two types of bankruptcies for both individuals and companies, liquidations and reorganizations. The liquidations are both under chapter seven of the bankruptcy code. I just had a thought. The Jubilee was every seven years. God rested on the seventh day, chapter seven of the bankruptcy code. Hmm. Anyways, in a chapter seven bankruptcy, the debtor discharges all debts except for child support payments and taxes. Remember, you never escape the tax man. The bankruptcy court appoints a trustee to take a look at your assets and to take them to pay back your creditors. The chapter seven debtor is only allowed to keep a certain amount of stuff called exempt property. Any property that is not exempt is sold to pay back creditors. No, you cannot keep your Mercedes and boat unless you have a very creative lawyer. If you find yourself thinking about a chapter seven bankruptcy, you are not alone. I declare Bankruptcy! In fact, many business people are risk takers and famous and rich business people have found themselves utilizing the bankruptcy laws. The one and only Walt Disney filed back in 1921, giving himself breathing room to create Mickey Mouse in 1928 and to make Snow White and the Seven Dwarves in 1937. Hmm, Seven Dwarves, seven again. Gold medalist and heavyweight champion George Foreman made millions boxing yet still found himself in bankruptcy protection in 1983, yet was able to fight his way out, which gave him space to become the oldest heavyweight champion ever at the age of 45, and much more importantly, create the George Foreman grill. He sold 100 million of those grills, and I'll tell you what, that is some heavyweight marketing genius right there. The other type of bankruptcy is a reorganization of debt, which is under chapter 13 for an individual and chapter 11 for a business. For individuals, a chapter 13 entails making monthly payments for three or five years based upon how much money you make and what your expenses are. One of the cool things about a chapter 13 bankruptcy is that you can possibly strip second and even third mortgages from your home. The legal term is stripping the lien. I, of course, then called it the magic mic maneuver. Can I say that? Can you use that? I mean, it was a rated R movie. You may have heard that President Trump is very proud of his bankruptcies, and it's true that President Trump's companies have been to bankruptcy court at least four times. In a Chapter 11 bankruptcy, the judge will look at the numbers and reduce the business amount of debt to a figure which will allow the business to continue operating while paying back a certain amount of its debt. I think we'll be seeing a lot more of Chapter 11 bankruptcy in the next two years, unfortunately. And there you have it. Jubilee, debtor prisons, Chapter 7, no Mercedes, the George Foreman Grill, Chapter 13, Magic Mike, Chapter 11, and President Trump. And now you know. Was that under four minutes?